Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. It's Freakman here. In today's episode, we have four things we want to get accomplished. So let's get right to them. First, we want to get a mending book. We want to get a mending book trade in our villager trading that we did last. Ooh. <laughs> hey God, uh, <laughs> that we did last time. And so that we can get a 10 emerald trade for a mending book. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Now, the villager breeder also, it has a little bit of an issue where it fills up with carrots all the time and it backs up and it makes the system all weird and blah, 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 blah. So we want to build a system where the uh, detection system for full chest and then discard the items as they're full into a composter so that we can start making bone meal from those carrots instead of just losing them. And then we want to expand our sugar cane farm just a little bit, you know, increase, nothing huge, but just increase it by four or five uh, entries so that it increases production, you know, 50, 60% or so. And then on our villager trader outpost that we have over there, we want to build pillars underneath of it so that it looks like it's supported on the backside rather than just floating. So if any of those sound awesome to you and you want to watch and know more and then continue to on this journey with us, make sure you like this video and subscribe on that thing right down there. Um, right down, yeah, right down there. Let's get to it. For this mending book trade, then, we are going to need to make a golden apple. Hopefully, we can do just one. I already got a potion made. I had to... <laughs> These guys all got damaged and... <laughs> I have been... Endermen have been tearing apart the outside on the dirt blocks there. But I had to use some... These guys all got turned into zombie villagers when I was AFKing here for the iron farm. And so I had to make this contraption to block them in. So that's why I have potions ready. So let's take, we got the potion, we need the golden apple. So let's take, let's make ourselves a golden apple. And then we will go over and try to get this guy a mending book. <laughs> a couple things here. This guys are not supposed to be down here. They are supposed to get caught up there. So obviously that system doesn't work. And second off, where did all my villagers go? They are gone. There's some, there's some, there's some, I guess. I, maybe that's a lot of them. Oh, no. Oh, no, a zombie got in here, too. My looting book is here, but this guy had a, um... Shoot, what book did he have? Dang it. How did they get in here? I must have left that open. I gotta cure him, too. Dang it, that's gonna be another golden apple. Okay, anyways, let's, let's try to get this mending book. To do it. Okay, please don't pick up the little guy. Okay, good deal. Let's watch it go up. <laughs> that never gets old. I'm not gonna lie. That never gets old. So cool. At least I think it's cool. There we go. Oh, the potion's not in there, is it? Potion's not in there. Oh, dang it. <laughs> he was supposed to go off. Okay, we'll do it manually. Again this time. There we go. And heal. There we go. So now it's the painstaking, painstaking time of putting the lectern down, picking it up, putting the lectern down, picking it up, putting the lectern down, picking it up. <laughs> Let's enjoy. Let's heal this guy now too. Oh, too bad. Too bad, too bad, too bad. So yeah, this is going to be annoying. <laughs> These other villagers are going to potentially take over the <laughs> the job site. So that could take a while to do this even longer. Ooh, that's a hard one to pass up. Now, for those of you that don't know, we can't sit here and change, change, uh, change his profession and reset the trades. You can only do that between a certain time frame. The time frame for that is during their, if you go to the wiki page, it's during their working hours, which is between game time 2000 to 9000. So, oh, I don't have cheaps on this world. But if you did time, uh, time query, uh, daytime, it like day, daytime. If you did that, uh, if you had cheats enabled and you did that command right there, date, I think it's date, daytime. I think it's daytime. If you did time query daytime, then you would be able to see the time and you would you could know that you can do this trade between 2000 and 9000. I actually plan to do a system that will actually tell me that based on sleeping. So that when you go to sleep, then you it resets to zero and then you can 
have a counter that like turns on a light after 2000 game ticks um, to tell you that, oh yeah, you can trade, you're good to go, instead of sitting here waiting and guessing. And they got these two librarians up here. Look at all these guys that turned to librarians because I said set them down. And didn't you? No, none of them. Oh man, another hard one to pass up. Silk Touch, this is only the second time that I've seen this one now. That's a hard one to pass up, but I need that mending book. That's my goal. So there it is. Finally, the mending book trade. And I need more emerald. <laughs> Good thing I got an emerald block. But I looked it up. This is the best trade you can get. According to what I've read, is 10, 10 emeralds for a mending book. So let's get this mending book. Lock in that trade. Get this guy out of here. Yes, 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 yes. That's so good. So good that we finally got that trade. It only took me about 40 minutes. <laughs> 40 minutes of trading. That's crazy that it took that long. Okay. Um, we need to push you in a little further. And then I've learned this already. We got to lock you in. There you go. Now you can't go nowhere. And uh, break it. Okay. Really? Really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> we got this item complete now. We got the Aqua Infinity here. Mending, they switch spots, oh well. And the looting. Now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get some item frames up there to and see if I can name these books to Mending, to Aqua Infinity and whatnot so that when you hover over it, you can see the item. Um, and see which book it is. So, but that's gonna complete this item. Let's move on to the next one. Perfect. Now I can see which enchantment it is. Next item on the list. Get these carrots into a composter. See, so this is what's happening. The reason why I'm getting, I realized too, the reason why I'm getting baby villagers down here and they're running around and everything is because what I think is happening is they get here, they pick up these carrots once they grow into an adult. And then they come down here and then they breed down here and that's not what we want so we want to get rid of these carrots being able to go anywhere so we want to build a system that will detect when this chest is full when it's full it will start a hot uh, a clock that will then empty this chest for that length of time you know maybe drop like five six four five six stacks or whatever drop it into a composter and make it compost man we are Definitely have a lot of different systems making compost bars, so we are getting a lot of bone meal. So let's get to work on that redstone. We got this thing working, which is a great deal. So what ends up happening is you f you get in here and you fall, <laughs> and then that's just how it works. Um, so this comparator here is looking at the chest. That chest only puts out a signal strength of 15 when it's completely full. One item gone, it doesn't it doesn't do it. It's it's a then it's a uh, detected as 14. So what we're doing here is we have a redstone here going in, in subtraction mode as you can see right there. Did you see it? It's in subtraction mode, trust me. And so 14 minus whatever until that's that is a very full chest, it doesn't output. So once it is a very full chest, completely full, outputs here. This goes in here to over there which activates this timer clock. When when that outputs a signal there's a redstone torch under this block that deact that deactivates, which then retracts this this right here, ca causes this to start counting over here. And while that's counting, and so the redstone block would be right here. While that's counting, it comes down here. There's that redstone block or that redstone torch right there gets deactivated, and when that gets deactivated, the the carrots will go into the composter and then eventually you will get down here once this is here it's a just a um dropper elevator i didn't want to do a water elevator i just i felt like just doing a dropper elevator so we have droppers here with detectors um or with comparators or observers sorry <laughs> with observers and i don't know if i like it I, I feel like it's a little leggy because i think these observers are constantly checking for updates so i don't know if i like it that much i feel like it legs a little bit but you know it is what it is it works and that's all I, I really care about i might eventually put it out to just a single click 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 clock dropper that goes into a water stream that comes up but 
I don't know. We'll see. So that's how it works. We just have a timer here with a elevator here and it has a tracking circuit here. And that's how it works. And so far from emptying it and testing it, we have so far a stack and a little more and a half of bone meal. So good deal. Mark that one off the list. <laughs> Let's get to the next one. Now it's time to build out the sugarcane farm. We're not gonna do anything massive. We're not gonna do like huge, you know, <laughs> mega build sort of situation here. All we're going for is getting this a little bit more production. So currently it's what, one, two, three, six, six wide. We're gonna just expand it by another, what, what is this, five, four, four, five. One, two, three, four, just another four. So make it 10 wide. You know, that's what updating, up, upping the production by about what, 60% or so. And nothing spectacular. I just want, I just want our paper trays to go a little bit faster. And that's the whole point. So expand this out and you will see this all of a sudden just boom, boom, big, big, not, not big, 10. Who am I kidding? It's not big. If I went all the way across there, that would be pretty big. Maybe I should do that. No, I'll do that in a future episode. I am, uh, yeah, good stuff. Other stuff planned. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spinorama. And there she be. Look at her. So beautiful. So we expanded it to 10. Very simple. Nothing spectacular. If you don't know how these are made and you're just like, oh, how's this thing made? Go back a couple episodes. I show you just a brief little um, introduction on how these little things are made because they are very simple. They're two blocks wide and they're like three, four blocks tall. Very simple, compact, uh, great way to do a farm. You And it's tileable. You can make it really high. You can make it long. You can make multiple rows. It's very, very convenient. So on to the next task. The last project for the day is to get some pillars on here. I plan to get, I don't think I need one over here because there's not, it's like right on the edge. So it's like, oh yeah, we're just off the edge. I think I might terraform to get that roll right there to kind of be on the edge. But I'm looking at two to three of them right around here. I'm thinking one right here, one right here, and maybe, maybe just those two. And maybe, uh, maybe I do do a third and maybe I like terraform this out a little bit and put one there. I don't know. But at least two, at least one right here on this corner and one kind of right over there on this corner where these the sort of flatter parts of the circle are and build out out uh, some pillars. I'm going to be following uh, a tutorial on it. I'm not artistic. And so the more and more I learn about being artistic in Minecraft, uh, the more and more I'll start doing my own stuff. But as of now, this one, I am going to follow a tutorial on how to build a pillar. Here's pillar number one done. I decided to put the first pillar in the center of the sides of the circle. So if you go from here out, there's one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, like six transitions um, are layers, levels of blocks, whatever you want to say to, to the big, like tr to the quarter mark. That's like fourth of the circle, right? And then from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six that way from the center, six that way from the pillar. So it's centered. Perfectly, like it should be. Now the question is, I like the look. It's not an exact replica of the tutorial I followed, but same basic concept. Um, mine wasn't as tall, so I made the bases a little bit thinner. Um, the other one had it like two or three blocks high because it was a really tall pillar. I just, it looked too squished in senses like that. So I, I took out some of the stairs, I took out some of the layers, put more half slabs and then full blocks. And so it looks a little bit better. This way, it looks like it's actually supporting that structure. Now the question is, is do I leave it? But if I don't leave it, the places I would put it would be centered under there, because that's seven blocks, or that's nine blocks, sorry. Centered under there and over there. So then I have three of them coming around like that. Or do I just leave it one? That's the million dollar question, you know. <laughs> Part of me saying it would look better if I had three of them. One just looks kind of out of place. Like, oh, there's a pillar. <laughs> there's a pillar, dude. Like, build another one. So I think I'm gonna build. I'm I'm gonna build another one. We're or another one. We have to build two. Let's build those two. Oh well, there we have it. I actually really like it. I don't know about you guys, but 
it just needs a little bit of terraforming so what i, I originally was going to build it where it's like these pillars were kind of in the walls a little bit and i might still do that a little um but i gotta terraform this i kind of like having the pillars fully out like that um and you know just going and actually terraforming it a little bit more like this center section i did a little bit just to kind of see what it looks like and then what i want to do is i want to um Terraf obviously terraform this a little bit more. I have to figure out how I want to do that though. It's gonna be interesting. I don't know. I it, it, it's obviously it's just it's too drastic. Just won't cut off. Um, this side's not as bad because I don't think it it's as drastic of a cutoff. But I still I have to figure out how I want to do it. I have to figure out how to terraform that properly. Um, but I'm I'm gonna just keep it empty like that at the bottom in the base. And what I think I might do is I might put like. Um, some sort of wheat farm down there or just something down there that's very basic that I can kind of just run by grab some sort of supplies of some sort um, but that looks fantastic <laughs> I, I really like it like I said I'm not a very artistic sort of person when it comes to building like this so to actually take the time to actually do that rather than just leaving it overhang feels great just gotta add a little bit of detail like like I did up top there with the leaves and stuff, gotta add some of that stuff down there. Hell, oh, but like it. Anyways, that's gonna go ahead and do it for today, guys. So thank you guys for watching. If you've made it this far, I mean, come on. Like it, and I mean, even more, subscribe if you've made it this far. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.